Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So today what we're going to be doing is we got our sugar feeders all filled up and uh, it's a nice day today. It's uh, almost uh, 60 degrees. Wind's blowing a little bit, but uh, that's okay. So uh, we're going to get in here and I made a list of uh, all the hives that need to have some sugar on them because they're lightweight. Uh, they probably weigh about 20 pounds when I pick them up on the end. And also the two nukes, nuke number one and nuke number five, the tiny swarm is uh, gonna get some sugar on them because they don't have uh, much honey in there at all. So uh, that's it, let's get started. So here's what our sugar feeders look like. So this, all this is is a one by four rip down the middle cut lengthwise and uh, it's just nailed on the edges with just a butt joint there's no uh, special joints or anything there so it's uh let's see one and three quarters uh wide i've got one that's a little thicker and then i made some for the nukes right here which i did the same thing it's just uh one and three quarters wide it's a that's a one by four ripped right down the middle lengthwise and then cut to length something i noticed odd here on this nuke number five is i had reduced this down to just that little space on the right and something has pulled the block off of there so i'm wondering if i'm already getting skunk attacks i look down there you see the block down there on the ground but uh, I look down around here for skunk plugs, a little plug of bees, and I don't see any. So that's really weird that something has pulled that block off of there. We're going to have to get our fence put up. So let's start over here on this nuke number one before the sun gets uh, too bright there. So we got our smoker lit so we can get the bees down off of the top because that sugar is going to sit right close to the frames. We don't want to smash any bees. There's the Amazon delivery van just pulled in my driveway, going about 30 miles an hour, flinging gravel everywhere. So got a couple of little high beetles up here we're going to take care of. And I'm going to take these beetle traps out. They don't seem to want to go down. Get off of there. <laughs> that looks pretty good there. So you can see I've got pretty much all the bees are down. There's a few on the lid. I'll just shake them out front. So here's our sugar feeder. It's newspaper on the bottom and they will eat through that in no time. I'm going to go ahead and poke a few little holes in it. Help them get started. So I've got a few bees on here. I'm just going to shake them down here in the front. Let them find their way in the entrance. I'm still probably going to come back and put a telescoping lid on this. Not wanting to sit down on there very good. I may have some sugar sticking up above the line. I think I do. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's how we do, do the nukes. 
Let's go do that other one real quick. So you can see this one's got the telescoping lid and an inner cover. That's what I want to do on that setup over there. I think I've got one in the barn there. So we've got a pretty good cluster of bees right there in the top. So we need to smoke them down. No hive beetles. And you notice I didn't put the traps back in last time because they had them under control. Get the sugar on there. I need to get these bees out of here because they'll be trapped. They could get out the notch, but they probably wouldn't figure it out. Okay, no bees in the top. Okay, I've got six more to do on the bigger hives and uh, I have to look at my notes to see which ones they are take care of those. Uh, if you want to see the recipe on how I mix the sugar that goes in these, uh, I'll put a link down below and you can go check that video out. Uh, I'll try to put it in the uh, on the end in screen uh, videos to check out there as well. Uh, I did it last year so I didn't video it again this year. It's pretty easy to do. You just mix a little bit of water in with the sugar and I put some uh, Pro Health in with it to uh, kind of entice the bees to feed on it. So, uh, and that also keeps it from molding. So uh, I'll time lapse the other six and uh, finish up. So uh, another important thing you need to do when you put these on, uh, they have a hole right here in the front and I have screen across it so robber bees can't come in and get to this. But what I do is I push the paper back away from that hole and I leave a little space in there where the air can ventilate from the hive out through here and it'll go out the little notch that's on the inner cover. So it's important in the winter to have good ventilation on your bees so they don't uh, have condensation dripping down on them because that'll kill them.
This feeder here is left over from last year. Okay, so uh, this uh, wax, this hard wax that they put on top of the frames, it's harder than their other wax for whatever reason, but uh, it doesn't like to stick very good when it's a little chilly out. So it's about 55 degrees probably, sun setting. Uh, it's supposed to have got up to 60 today. Uh, we got in and got out quick, so we didn't chill the hives down at all. So I had, uh, six hives that we put sugar on that needed some help uh, because of the weight so watch the video prior to this one and you can see how i lift my hives and test them for weight to know which ones to put sugar on and also we put some sugar on those two little nukes to uh, see if we can get them through winter so i'm uh you know they might make it they might might not but later on i might wind up combining them and uh, the one in uh Position number one has an older queen, so I might take her out and combine them. The uh, other queen is uh, this year's queen, and uh, she's doing pretty good, actually. So uh, that's it. Give me a thumbs up on the video, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.